Ayan, good morning everyone! Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Happy Monday! Ayan, kakatapos lang ng weekend. Very, very, um, somehow, very active weekend. Ang daming posts, ang daming nangyayari sa stock market, ang daming discussions over the weekend. Um, nagkakagulo rin about, tawag dyan, yung kay ISM daw and everything. So, why not? Let's talk about that. Uh, so, ngayon, ang topic natin today is, ayan, um, yung 3 pesos share swap na binigay ni Udena kay ISM for them to have uh, shares on Udena para makompleto yung share swap. Let's talk about that kasi ang dami natatakot sa 3, 3, th- sa 3 pesos daw. Bakit daw? Ba- baka bumagsak daw ng 3 pesos. 3 pesos nga ba? Alright? So, we'll talk about that um, in a while. Uh, good morning to my daughter, Nika, and good morning to everyone. Uh, the discussion will start at around 8.40 in the morning. So, if you're watching the replay of the video, can you pl- please forward na lang to around mga 25 minutes of the video because this is l- recorded live. So, yan, that will be our topic for today. First, until 8.40, I'm going to be checking your comments, your questions. If you have any uh, reactions, please post it on the uh, on the chat room. Babasahin po natin yan as much as possible. Thank you. Alright, so let's start. Um, huwag natin sayangin ng oras. I'll go ahead and go to the very first chat. Um, Hops, good morning. Sir Lloyd, God bless. Chart request, IRC po, um, PCOR and CLC. Alright, let's check, check this down. Si IRC guys, um, nagpo-pull back na. So, we're just waiting for the bounce of IRC. Di ba? Um, I gave you the... the the entry point last week the three white soldiers and ayun umangat na IRC ang ganda meron na namang may news na may additional na naman silang investor foreign investor uh, uh, na pumasok for for the subway so yun that's that's ver- gonna be very good for IRC so we'll check out the chart later right kung pwede ba mamasukin nagpupull back na ngayon baka anytime soon mag bounce agad so baka pwede pasukin it's just that I'm not putting it to my recommendations unless I see a green problem is the green might arrive today so panoorin nyo na po yan siya Rodrigo Carlos, good morning um, Ranulfo Fuerzas, maayong buntag Coach Lloyd Oglaika, good morning then Bull and Bear, good day Coach uh, J- Jerus, John Pablo good morning Sir Lloyd, TP na po ba sa Alco or hold pa? Uy, good job sa Alco um, tingnan natin if it's time to take profits, um, congratulations sa Alco um, asa na yun? Uh, Rose Love Luzon, good morning. Sophia Dizon, CLI, and Jerry po. Si CLI, nasa re- uh, recommendations ko for today. No, not CLI. CEI pala. Um, si CLI, tignan natin. Nag- nagbabound sa ME20 eh, but I already recommended CLI the past few days. So, tinanggal ko lang muna siya sa recommendations ko today. Because somehow, um, nagbabound sa siya sa ME20 eh. So, pwede, baka pwede natin pasukin. Right, Amil Angelo, good morning. Addison C, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Noel Palo, good morning. Austin Camacho, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And to all traders, Greg Sinugbohan, good morning. Pwede ba pasukin si BDO? Si BDO, antay lang ng breakout, right? Um, we're actually, um, nirecommend ko si BDO nung nasa support niya, nung unang kakabounce pa lang. Right now, we're at resistance levels. It attempted to do a breakout last Friday. Um, kaso nga lang di nag-sustain, bumalik sa resistance. Most probably, it will break out today. Hindi ko lang linagay sa lista ko because I haven't seen the breakout yet. But I think it's gonna do a breakout today. So, pag nag-breakout yan, pwede nyo pasukin. We'll talk more about the chart later on. Um, kay BDO, ayan, uh, asa na ako? Addison, uh, As- Austin Camacho, uh, Greg, ayan. Michael Lerman, good morning, Sir Lloyd. May impact po ba kay ATN yung sa Manila Bay? Um, I don't think think so. Right? Um, kasi ang Manila Bay, ang nangyari lang naman is clean up eh. So it's going to be closing uh for further development for now. But after the clean up, tuloy naman yung project eh. Wala naman problema as long as the establishments there follow the ano, follow the ano tawag diyan, yung environmental uh, guidelines, uh, di ba may clearance yan. So wala naman problema yan, right? So I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's just going to move the development but ATN tuloy lang yan. Hindi lang naman si SM ang client nila eh. Diba? So D Palacio, good morning Sir Lloyd. Amil, Angelo, advance request po. Ako WPI. I'll write that down. Waterfront Philippines. 
Right. Um. E. M. Um, Engineer M. M. I. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Arvin Velasquez. Good morning, Sir. And everyone. And um, Marlo Baroro. May buntag Sir Lloyd. Low risk na ba pasukin si F. N. I. Actually, F. N. I. Low risk na. Um. Sinulat ko dito si F. N. I. Sa picks ko kanina kaso ngalang. Um. Could be too aggressive for me. I'm just waiting for F. N. I. To really show me a good reversal signal before I wanna get in. Meron tayong engulfing pattern kay F. N. I. We'll check it out later. Right. Pag-usapan natin yan mamaya. Roland Hamela, good morning Sir Lloyd. PHA, CPG, CHP, and FNI po si PHA. Walang kamatayan. Binibigyan tayo ng malaking profits ni um, PHA. So, congratulations sa mga PHA holders. Ayan, nga pala. Buksan ko ang um, platform ko. Si Prime. And also, si Call. One moment please. Right, so, yun. Um, uy, si, si PHA, nga pala. Um, PHA opened uh, very high, I mean, closed uh, at 1.05 last Friday. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay, uh, kay, ano, kay PHA. Ito na siya, 1.05. This is my public port. I'm showing this to you. Um, nasa 166% na po tayo dyan. Right, so congratulations sa mga nakapasok kay PHA. Uh, somehow, I think, not really sure, baka mag, ba, anytime soon, mag, 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 to take profits na po ako nito. Um, I'll, I'm just waiting for a clear weakness. Pag may nakita akong um, RSI and divergence na bearish, siguro mag, sa sell all na ako. Sayang naman, ang laki na ng panalo dyan. So, I'm just gonna be re-entering pag nag-downturn na siya. Guys, uh, we're looking at 3 to 5 pesos kay PHA. Um, but the problem jan is it will take time for a stock to move there. So aangat yan, tapos mawawalan muna ng gana yan, and then start. Uh, it will start to um get momentum again. So antayin ko muna yan uh, magkonsolidate. Same similar with ATN, di ba? Sa ATN nasa 8 pesos pa yung target natin kay ATN. But it again, it will take time for a stock to move. Tingnan niyo yung chart ni ATN. Ah, sabi ko sa inyo, just keep buying more, keep buying more kay ATN. And umangat naman sa ATN. It's just that mabagal na compared to initial niya talaga. But uh, with the numbers that ATN will be sh uh, showing, ito yung si ATN ngayon. Let me just load up my chart. Punta tayo kay ATN. Similar with ATN, nasa 8 pesos po yung tinitingnan natin kay ATN. Uh, iniintay natin kay ATN. Actually, kaya long term po si ATN para sa akin. Alright, so long term sa ATN, nung bumagsak siya, yan, ganito yung nangyari kay ATM. Sa, sa umpisa ng hype, umakyat, then bumaba after. But don't worry about these stocks. Pag maganda na yung valuation, may target price na tayo, ah, babalik rin naman kaagad yan. So just, yung mga kay PHA, ang taas na natin ngayon, I, I tell you guys, magpo-pullback pa yan. Hindi po diretso sa tatlong piso yan. So let it pull back, let it make a, a stabilization like this one before you wanna get in. I tell you, I'll recommend PHA again once we see uh, a buy signal again. Tulad ni SSI. Si SSI, um, ang ganda ng ginawa ni SSI. So nag-uptrend siya, but hindi po forever ang uptrend. Nag-downtrend siya saglit. And then I'll, again, I'll recommend it again once okay na, hinug na. Like SSI ngayon, hinug na si SSI. So... It just bounced at the support, so we have volume already on that accumulation. So that's better compared to this accumulation right here, diba? So ngayon, pwede na si SSI. Actually, last Friday, nirecommend ko yan gumalaw na. So, intay lang. Kay for PHA, um, wag po kayo maiinip, alright? Magpupullback pa yan, alright? Ella Montefalco, good morning sa lahat. Good morning din. Aldrin M16, anyong haseo, Coach Lloyd, ganda ng seminar. The best good day po sa lahat. Oy, Aldrin, thank you so much for... Uh, joining the seminar, uh, take it from Aldrin. Wag niyo po sa sayangin yung pera niyo at natatalo kayo sa stock market. I know you can learn learn trading on your own. Yet, wag, pero wag niyo po titipi rin. Uh, ang napakamura po na seminar. So, it's a very good investment sa inyo guys. Um, sayang naman po yung pera niyo if matatalo lang while learning on your own. Right? So, join the seminar. Right? Para makat po yung learning curve ninyo you won't be losing B bullish market na po tayo ngayon so as much as soon as as much as possible during this market nagte-take advantage sa kayo ng market hindi po sasayangin uh, yung pera ninyo enroll in the workshop right speaking of workshop guys Je February 2 i only have 
two seats available na lang sa afternoon. So, unahan na lang po kayo. Alright, may nagpadala pala kanina. Isa na lang. Alright, isang seat na lang available. So, unahan na po kayo. Just one five lang yun. Sponsored by eToro. Thank you so much, eToro, for making this event uh, uh, happen. Uh, Tristan Porcadas. Ayan. Uh, Lizel, good morning, sir, from Abu Dhabi. Uy, good morning sa inyo dyan, mga patid natin na sa Abu Dhabi. Uh, mahirap po ang buhay dyan. Alright, uh, I... Uh, somehow I, fun, uh, if I offended someone uh, about my post about doon sa mga nagti-TNT tapos yung mga ibang Pinoy ang nadadamay uh, somehow I was insensitive so sorry about that yeah, mahirap po ang buhay sa TN, um, especially yung mga nagti-TNT na lang right? kasi ang hirap na opportunity but my point is uh, we, ang problema kasi is we don't realize that what we are doing is wrong right? pag ganyan Yes po, your 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 purpose is noble, pero in a wrong manner po, right? So kawawa na dadamay po yung mga nag ano talaga sa uh, yung uh, who are really following the law, de ba? Yung mga law abiding citizen. So but anyways, hindi mo naman hindi naman natin mapipilit ang mga tao. Um, yun lang. That's my point. Uh, sorry if I offended you. Um, sa mga kapatid natin na sa Abu Dhabi, February 16. Um, tawag dyan, uh, February 16, the tentative venue is Pinoy Lomi House. It's at 1 to, uh, no, 12 to 5 p.m. And, uh, Dubai sa Fiesta Pinoy, February 15, Abu Dhabi, February 16, Qatar po tayo, February 22, right? 12 to 5 p.m. Then, I'll let you know, uh, I'll let you know, uh, updates about that. Send me a message if you want to join that. Tristan Percadas, I'll see you there. I'm asking for your support. And ang mahal pala talaga mag-overseas. This will be the first time na mag-overseas ang Financial Freedom 101. Uh, ang <laughs> mahal. <laughs> when we process the visa, the tickets, everything, grabe. But anyways, as much as possible. And baka mag-break even na lang tayo dyan. But still, at least nakita po natin ang isa't isa at makatulong po tayo. ba? So, yan. Tristan Percadas, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, and like, uh, sabi daw po, late 2020 pa daw mag-roll out ang consortium ng Udena. Bali po, sigu- uh, po, puro hyper-speculation lang ang magpapagalaw ng stock niya. Right, uh, we'll talk about that, Tristan. Right, um, this is a very good point from you. Um, 2020 makapag-roll out. Actually, totoo naman yan. 2020 makapag-roll out. But when do you wanna get start getting in on 2020 pa? Diba? So we'll we'll check this out. Uh, I'll 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 post your I'll, be, I'll paste your comment para hindi natin ma uh, hindi natin ma oop para hindi natin ma wala. Ayan. So kasi yan yung topic natin ngayon eh. Ronald Taller Toller Taller Toller <laughs> Ronald Toller. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. <laughs> Good morning. Ali Quicksilver PLC PHA, please. Alright, well, well, let's write it. This is down. Si PHA, actually, sinulat ko kanina. Kaso nga lang, nagdadalong isip ako kasi, I mean, si PLC. Uh, kasi medyo mataas na si PLC eh. But ang ganda ng bounce na MA20. So, we really can't discount that. Ang dami po magandang positions actually. I'm just trying to make my picks as small, uh, as uh, as few as possible para hindi po mahirap magpili. But PLC, yes, if that's your, if you have bias in the company. Actually, it's good, di ba? Pero, um, nasa taas ni eh. yun yun sa akin eh. it, it is it is bouncing at MA20 maganda naman yung technical analysis with the earnout seeing and divergence um, kaso nga lang it's on the third bounce na kasi usually sa unang bounce MA20 ako nagiging aggressive so I don't really want to be aggressive on those areas anymore one moment please alright so good morning Sir Lloyd and to your family happy Monday everyone hoping for good action price uh, um price action for ISM today. Uh, Rodel, good morning Sir Lloyd. VLL, VLL ang ganda rin. Tinanggal ko lang sa lista. Ayun, andyan pa rin sa lista ko pala si VLL. Alright, here, here are my picks for today. Just for you to know. Um, tingnan niyo po sa comments. Ayan. So, th- those are my picks for today. We'll talk about that after the discussion. Tingnan natin yung technical analysis and what strategies we can apply for those picks. And um, Rodel Himang Pang, Himang Pang, FNI. All right, these down uh, FNI is nasulat na pala. So daan na natin. Ang ganda ni FNI, nag-engulfing pattern, sorry. All right, GPM Games, good morning Sir Lloyd. Have you watched the technical and fundamental analysis of call group for ISM? They are on positive side on it for long term. Yes, tama. Um I I checked out the ano, the video of Call Financial. Tama naman, eh? it's it's similar to what we've been talking 
about right um right now lang the price action is moving because of the ayun yung paghaharang but after this pag pag okay na talaga um ISM is gonna move uh mamaya na yan mamaya na yan right JPM right that's a very good topic eh yun yung topic natin ngayon we'll talk about that in a bit right it's 8.33 7 minutes more we'll talk about that brilliant on course sir Lloyd, mahalt po ba ang trading na ISM after the share swap? Gano'ng katagal? Um, most probably, yes, mahalt. But if ever, mabilis lang naman ang processing. Um, it really depends kung mabilis lang ang processing nila. I think pinaghandaan na naman nila yan kasi they have to roll out uh, fast. Um, so, yun. I think uh, hindi naman gano'ng katagalan yan. At most, 180 days. It can extend kung hindi pa na natapos yung paperwork. But it really depends kung mabilis sila mag-process. Right? Noel Minano, good morning sir, can we use the close order in off hour in call as stop loss mechanism alternative? Um, Noel Minano, sadly no. Um, kasi pag ang problema, pag nag, nagay ka ng maliit na, na price dyan, mauuna ka sa, tawag nito, mauuna ka sa orders. Alright, let's check out, um, let's check out, uh, let's try to go to, Orders, orders, orders. No, no, no. Portfolio. Let's try to... Siguro si ISM. Let's try to buy ISM. For example, dito. Um, ang problema kasi, for example, ang cut loss mo kay ISM is 5.9... Ah, uh, 5.85. Ang problema niyan is, ikaw akaagad. Right? Kasi hindi siya stop loss order. Normal order lang po ang masasubmit natin. Kahit pa off hours yan or GTC pa yan. Um, that's considered a normal order. Wala po tayong stop loss order sa PSE, sadly. Um, but it's to protect the stocks na din naman sa PSE. So, may good side din naman na bakit walang automatic stop loss. Kasi napakanipis lang po ng market. If ever, kasi it's considered as normal order. If you put here 5.85, for normal orders, you become priority kung sino pinakamababa na order na linagay. So, if you pin put in 5.85, mauuna ka kaagad dito. Diba? Tingnan mo, pina, sino na uuna? Pinakamababa. So, if you put 585, ikaw mauuna dito. Pag ikaw ang nauna, diretso, ikaw una ibibenta the moment some of, uh, the moment you meet a buyer. So, this guy is buying at 5.95, you're selling at 5.85, so you both matched, and then mag-a-average yung presyo ninyo. So, most probably, he's gonna get it at 5.90, uh, 5.90, and you're gonna be uh, getting the price of 5.90 instead. Right? Instead, um, wala po kasi wala pong stop, automatic stop loss sa PSE. Alright, good morning Sir Lloyd Newby here. The Pony Girl and welcome so, welcome Pony Girl. Yun, yun po guys. Uh, that's the reason why I want you to share the video. Please share pa ang video and please subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you'll be updated on um, the videos that we'll be uploading and also every day. Um, please share the video to your walls and your to your trading groups. Um, sadly, hindi po inaalaw ni Cole to, uh, yung group ng Cole, <laughs> yung mga post ko. So, hindi na ako nagpo-post doon. So, kayo na lang siguro mag-post. Um, somehow, yung iba namang nagtuturo, nakaka-post naman. I don't know what's with me. Siguro kasi to trade Asia yung inaano ko. I, but I don't think Cole is handling that page naman. So, Hindi na ako nakapost doon. So, I'm asking for your for favor. I hope you've earned this. Please share the video to your walls and to your trading groups if it will be allowed. Um, para po sa mga newbies like the Pony Girl. Um, so that their stock market journey will be uh, guided. They'll know that there's a program like this that will guide them in their stock exchange journey. Ali Quicksilver, good morning. Joy Joy, happy Monday. Sir Lloyd Picor, CLC, NPHA po. This is from Joy Joy Picor, CLC, NPHA. I'll write these down uh, para madaanan natin. It's 8.37, 3 minutes more. We're going to be starting our discussion. Pinoy Respiratory Therapist, good morning from Dubai. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Uy, see you there at Dubai ha. Po like uh, good morning Sir Lloyd, morning then. Nate M, magandang umaga Sir Lloyd. ISM, PHA, SMC please. Alright, ISM, PHA and SMC. Uh, let's write these down. SMC, yung laki na ng panalo nyo dyan. Mag-take profits na kayo. <laughs> right, so congratulations sa mga pumasok kay SMC. Very big win for you guys. RJ Abracosa, hey Sir Lloyd, good morning. Fen or and PHE, please. Uh, si Fen, si, uh, nareko ko naman yan. Si Or, si Or din, maganda si Or eh. Kasi nga lang, um, 
it's forming a support. So I think it's okay. Right? So I'll write these down. Right. Roel Mon. Uy, thank you so much, Amil. Uh, Angelo for the support. Um, si Amil nag-send po ng super chat. Thank you so much. See you on Feb 2 and see you po. Um, if you if you like my contents, if you want to have this program continue po, uh, you can help the program by donating. Pwede po kayo mag super chat yung dollar sign sa tabi ng smiley. Right? Any donation would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, Amil. Right, so, nakakatulong po yan na mapatuloy natin ang program. Thank you so much. Um, asa na yun? Sino ba yung last nag, uh, comment na nabasa ko? Um, yan, si PSE Warzone, nag, nag, uh, nagla-live yan. Yan, si Pinoy. Nagla-live yan for the opening of the prices. And po like, good morning. Nate M, magandang umaga, Sir Lloyd. ISM, PHA, SMC, please. Thanks so much. Noims, right? Hi, Noims. Um, ISM, PHA, SMC, right? So, ayan pala yun. Uh, RJ Bracosa, uh, Ruel Mon. Uh, th your thoughts about ISM this week, this January 31. I'm waiting for it to happen actually para po makita po natin. Once this, uh, once um, uh, Udena becomes public na, we can see the numbers na talaga ni Udena. And then we'll see if maganda ba talaga ang takbo ni Udena. We can check out the fundamentals already right may makikita na tayo kaway kaway sa mga nurses from al uh, al ain si mrc good morning sa inyo si tobor p right ronald toller good morning from australia oy from australia pala to si ronald good morning sa inyo jan agent disaster good morning th sir lord thoughts on manila bay findings smph sm um binigyan lang naman sila ng warning right um si smph and sm it was uh, a warning for them uh na Ayusin ka agad. I don't think that's gonna be a problem for SMPH. They have the money to um, to create this facility ka agad. So, that won't be a problem. So, it won't it won't matter that much. Tuloy pa rin naman ang operations ni SMSMPH. So, yun. Adrian Beleka, good morning Sir Lloyd. Ano po sa tingin nyo ang, uh, sa FNI? Vulcan, FNI is looking good. Um, just waiting for more, 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 ano, uh, more confirmation from FLI. I wanted to stabilize first before I wanna recommend it again. So, medyo para baka bounce lang ito ng ano ni, ng downtrend ni. So, we'll see, we'll see in the future. I don't wanna recommend it yet. PSC Warzone, and Marlo Aquino, good morning. Christopher Litiatko, good morning, coach. Di gumagalaw si Picor. Sell na po ba? As much as possible. Huwag mo i-sell po. Kaya po, test buy lang ang pinapagawa ko sa inyo. Huwag malaking pera muna. Kasi pag hindi gumalaw, baka mainip kayo, matulog yung malaking pera niyo That's why, test buy lang po. Ang problema dyan, Christopher, pag binenta mo yan, gagalaw yan. <laughs> That's the curse of a newbie. Napapansin nyo ba kung kailan nyo binenta, saka naman umakyat? Right? So, as much as possible, I don't teach, uh, I will not tell you to sell a stock unless na nahit na yung cut loss niyo Right? But if ever meron kayong buy more opportunity sa isang stock, then yeah, you can do that. Kasi nag -up, baka nag-upturn yung kabilang stock mo. So, it's up to you. You can do that. This is one of my lessons, sa seminar, uh, how to deal with things like this. So, yeah, um, I will recommend you join the seminar, guys. Right? Ang dami niyo pong matutunan doon. Especially for these common scenarios like this. Uh, Jen D. Lawrence Gokyangke. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Didi po. Didi is in my recommendations today. So, Didi is good. Um, Marie Christine Paz. Ayun, 8.42 na pala. Roger Aguilar, sir, what happened sa 50 million shares at 6.45 share na binili? Um, wala naman. Wala naman mangyayari. Right? Um, we'll talk about that. Right? So, the topic for today is uh, ISM's 3 peso share swap. Kasi ang daming nanguhula na bababa daw sa 3 peso si ISM because of this share swap price. Nakapublic na daw na 3 peso naman yung presyo ni ISM. So, baka bumaba ng 3 peso yan. Right? So, that's what people are talking about. So, we'll talk more about that. But first, we want to thank our sponsors, 2Trade Asia. Check out 2Trade Asia at 2TradeAsia.com. Um, they are very good. Ano, um, they are very good. They have a very good platform. Uh, you can see here, right here. Um, pero meron tayong research for Ali. It's a buy because uh, 51 po yung average na target price natin. It's still at 46. Uh, uh, the low price is 46. So mas mababa siya sa 46. So sobrang buy ang valuation for Ali. So Ali is still good to buy. So makita niyo po yan dito um, sa stocks, right? So that's to trade Asia. Check 
check it out at 2tradeasia.com. Sabihin niyo po ako nag-recommend sa inyo para ganahan naman silang mag, mag-sponsor pa rin. <laughs> so, alright. So, ayan. And also, eToro. Guys, check out eToro at eToro.com. If ever, wala naman po talaga kayong oras to trade. Huwag niyo pong pipilitin mag-trade. Just do copy trading. You can copy trade me or other traders out there. Ayan, si eToro. Check out eToro. Um, please use an e, uh, the eToro link on my video description. Ngayon, si Oil bumaba ng $10. But still, we're earning. Um, bumaba ng uh, $14 to last over over the weekend. And so, nag-open ang market. Uh, bumaba siya, but the chart is looking good for uh, for eToro. I mean, for Oil. Right? So, uptrend na yan. We're just waiting for it to do a breakout. I think it's gonna break out. So, kasi sobrang mura pa naman si Oil. So, you can check out. Um, my profile, hindi lang ako, right? So, um, stats, right? So, this month, 2.77 yung gain natin. Uh, so, di- you can see the stats of people. You can copy trade me or you can copy trade other people. Kung wala po kayong oras, you have the money to invest. Pero wala kayo, hindi kayo marunong mag-trade or wala kayong oras mag-trade, check out eToro and copy trade na lang muna kayo. At least may fund manager po kayo kagad. So, eToro. Thank you so much, eToro, for the sponsorships. Ayan, um... Ayan, uh, ISM. Alright, ano ba yun? Bakit 3 pesos po? Bi, um, bakit 3 pesos po binenta yung U- ni Udena, yung stocks nila, to buy uh, to buy ISM? So, ganito yan. Una, si ShareSwap, pag-usapan natin. So, si ISM, binili ni Udena. Alright? So, bibilhin si ISM ni Udena. Pero, hindi pera ang ginamit ni Udena to buy ISM. So, what Udena did is, I'm gonna buy you guys using my stocks. Is it okay with you? Na, is share swap natin na lang. So, instead of me paying you cash, since you're invested in it, I want you to invest in uh, yung, yung ownership nyo kay ISM. Lagay nyo sa amin. I'll give you stocks sa Udena. So, basically, I'm buying you out with Udena stocks. Diba? So, yun, pumayag si ISM. Now, how much did they agree on? Um, nasa disclosure is 3 pesos po binibenta ni ISM uh, ni Udena ang stocks nila uh, valuation for Udena so 3 piso nila number 1 is my wa- number 1 um number 1 point here is 3 piso right 3 piso bakit 3 piso right is it the price of Udena that's not the price of Udena no 3 pesos is not the price of Udena bakit to, eh bakit 3 piso diba ganito yan if ever, napansin nyo ba pag maramihan ang binibili, mas mura po, right? So, this is number one, this is a wholesale value. This is a special value to ISM. Number one, bakit special value? Number one, wholesale yan, maramihan. Number two is, I want to take over your company, so I want to buy you with the biggest money as much as possible. Para pumayag kayo, nabilin ko kayo, ba? So, I'm gonna buy you big. Right. So, how do I buy you big? I'm gonna give you stocks. Kung stocks kasi ang pinag-usapan natin, the lower the price, the better. Right? So, hindi siya bin, uh, hindi binigay ni Udena at 4 pesos at 5 pesos kasi sa ISM naman aside, ay lugi kami dyan kung 4 pesos at 5 pesos nyo ibibenta. Kasi konti lang ang stocks na matatanggap namin. So, Udena is giving their stocks at a cheaper price para marami po silang mabigay kay ISM. In return, ISM is gaining more actually if they sell, if they accept it at 3 pesos. But it doesn't mean that's the valuation of Udena. Right? It's just a special price for this deal para pumayag ang lahat. So, 3 pesos, do you think do I think it's going to go down to 3 pesos? I don't think so, but if it does, man, you're buying it at a very cheap price. Wholesale price yan ang nakuha ni ISM. Why not buy it also at that price, di ba? Pumayag nga si ISM, nabilhin sila ng 3 piso tayo pa kaya. So, if ever it goes down to 3 pesos, man, lagyan nyo po ng malaking pera. Yan. That's a very good opportunity kung bumaba sa 3 piso. But I don't think it's gonna go down to 3 pesos. Right? So, that's the 3 pesos valuation ni, ano, ni, ni, uh, ni, this valuation niyo then actually see sa morning star ang valuation ngayon ni ISM is at 6.86 pesos so 6.86 pesos is big so that's the price of ISM right now and Udena is buying them which is Udena is mas malaki kaysa kay ISM so you know the price <coughs> you know the price already it's still cheap right now right <coughs> now 
yun, may, merong linabas ka ha, um, over the weekend sila call financial um, what their take is um, on the price uh, I mean on ISM et, eto yung sinabi ni Ms. April Tan um, sabi niya is uh, it's not yet we're not yet seeing the fundamentals of um, it's not really the right words but yeah we're not yet seeing the fundamentals of Udena but for them they already the winner now money wise it's not yet profitable right ism is not yet profitable as a business totoo naman yan right um udena i mean the telco is not yet profitable as a business because wala pa naman silang clients wala pa silang nakukuha ng pera so as of the moment it's not yet profitable plus it's gonna be incurring losses sa numbers nila losses bakit because they're gonna be spending spending a lot of money because of infrastructure mainly infrastructure pagkuha ng cell towers and their system here diba so it's that's very big expenditures so it's not yet profitable in the coming years uh, sabi nga nila 2020 pa magro roll out so if 2020 pa that means 2 years pa silang magsispend wala pang kikitain right and if you are a business partner wala kang kikitain ngayon bakit ako mag invest kay ISM eh, wala namang kikitain for 2 years yet but why are the big businessmen investing in it? Diba? Because it's good seeds ang tinatanim ngayon ni ISM. Right? So, after that, they will be profitable. Most probably will be profitable. Why? Number one, if their service is good, bakit ako magtitiis kay, te- P- kay PLDT at kay Globe? E eh, andito si ISM na mas maganda. Mas mura pa. Right? So, PLDT is gonna be scrambling for their for their clients, right? The <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be profitable. So yun, that's why I'm recommending it. Simulan yun na po ngayon. Don't expect for it to go grow the next two years, three years, kasi wala pa tayong nakita ng numbers yan. But baka umakyat eh, di ba? Baka umakyat along the way. And sayang yung opportunity na mura ngayon. If ever it goes down, ito, yung, ito po yung gusto kong gawin ninyo. This is the perfect time to start cost averaging. If wala pa po kayong cost averaging na stock, this is a good stock to cost average in. So, if ever, wag mo na malakihan. Huwag mo na malakihan ilalagay nyo. Um, if next month, may, may ano kayo, mayroon kayong kita, then you just buy more, buy more, buy more. So, gradually, uh, gradually, ano, gradually, put money in it and then once we see the numbers pag one, once na maganda naman talaga ang takbo then since kakasimula pa lang na that's when you start putting much much more money in it because this is a risk right here hindi pa nga natin alam kung profitable ba talaga sila eh diba magpo-profitable diba so konting ingat din diversify your funds ang dami kayong pwedeng ma- lagyan nyo ng funds dyan you're gambling with ISM right now because oh, it's somehow speculative but ang ganda na speculation niya naman eh diba um it seems call April Tan is only um uh, meron ano si Kaido Ring. It seems call April Tan is only looking at the third telco. Yes, totoo yan. That's a very good point. And they're only talking about the third telco for it to be profitable. Hindi nila nakalimutan nila na Udena is a holdings company. Hindi lang tel- telco ang inahawakan ni Udena. So, sa telco wise, yun, their point was about the telco, but they forgot about the Clark project which is going to be very profitable. And other projects ni Udena, which is yan, si, 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 CLC, si CLC Botugo. So, it's gonna be very big for, uh, for ISM still. So, I don't think Udena, I mean, ISM is gonna go lower to 3. But if it does, man, dyan ko lalagyan na malaking pera yan. That's a very good opportunity. Charlie Erlard, baka na, uh, ang exchange ay 3 shares. Uh, 3 shares ng 5 pesos si Udena, kapalit ng 5 shares ng 3 pesos na ISM, kaya 3 uh, 3 pesos is from Lan Feliciano. Actually, they evaluated uh, hindi natin alam kung ilan ang ibibigay ni ano, ilan ibibigay ni uh, ni Udena kasi na shares kay, kay ISM eh, diba? But, they're gonna be matching ISM's um, normal price at 3 pesos. So, if ever for, ganito yan. What if 6 pesos ang presyo ni ISM na fair value, I mean, not the fair value, the book value niya. What if 6 pesos ang book value niya? And then, we are gonna buy it for 3 shares, 3, uh, three pesos per share with y- using Udena. So, meaning, I'm gonna give ISM 2 stocks, right? 2, uh, two stocks ng uh, Udena to match up the 6 pesos. Ganyan yung mangyayari. So, we don't really know how much muna as of the moment. 
So, yun. Keting Sir Lloyd bought ISM 7.80 SEM. Should I do peso cost averaging habang mababa pa at current price? If yes, what price should I buy po? Actually, Keting, um, very good question sa mga naipit sa taas. Right? Um, I wanna ask you what your purpose is. Ito yung, kaya ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, guys, dati, just do test buy. Kasi pag test buy lang ginawa ninyo, what if you have 100,000 budget and test buy lang kayo ng 30,000? Kung bumababa si ISM right now, and then we see a stabilization. Actually, it's stable. The price is stable right now. Let's open the chart. Right, so, once 7K pumasok, ngayon, ngayon, it's stabilizing at this area. This around 5.5 right now is the lowest price it got. Right, so but the price action is nice. Um, 5.66 na yung bounce niya, so umaakit na siya. Around 5.60 is a good good uh, good area to average down if you want to. Kung may pang average down po kayo. Right, latigo wrapper comparison lang Sir Lloyd. Ang PHA na sudlan o 15 billions ni Sakadai ng taas ka ayo ang price. How much more? Siguro ang ISM na mas dako pa ang yun din na, na newbie observation. Totoo yan. Very very good observation. Um, latigo wrapper yan. Um, kababayan ko yan dito sa Cebu. Very good, ano? Very good observation. Yes, it's gonna be doing well, right? It's gonna be good. It's just that malaki po ang magiging gastos ni Yudena for this project, so we can't expect for this to be profitable right away. Right? Should not it not be compared to AC or SM rather than Globe and Tel? Kay during, um, yes, tama den. Very very good point, cause it's a holdings company. Hindi lang naman siya Telco like um Globe and Tel, eh, de ba? So, marami pong projects pa si. Udena. So, if you think of it alone, ang ganda ni Udena as a company itself, di ba? Yung projects of Clark, uh, the real estate, and dyan pa yung um, holdings nila sa mga gaming, mga ano nila, ang dami pa. So, basically, Udena is gonna be very good, a good company to get into. So, kahit tanggalin pa natin yung telco, it's already good to get into. It's a good company to invest in, right? Yun nga lang, hindi pa natin nakikita ang numbers nila talaga kasi hindi, hindi pa sila public eh. Gorley, good morning Sir Lloyd mag-halt ba si ISM this week? Um, not really sure um, pero baka, baka kasi pag itinuloy na most probably mag-halt yan for the for the pro sorry for the processing kasi AJ Tating naipit din ako sa taas pero bilirin pa rin ako ng bilhin ng shares ni ISM and looking forward sa price niya in 5 years so regarding test buy and what percentage and test buy before going full buy um, Jonah, ganito yan. This is one of my lessons sa, sa, sa seminar kasi. My trading system, yung tinuturo kong trading system, really deals with the trend is your friend. It re revolves around that. So basically, ang paborito nating trend is an uptrend. Diba? If you see a stock doing this sideways pa, this is not your friend right here. Right? Sideways pa yan. Hindi natin alam kung aakit yan or bababa pa yan. Wala pa tayong momentum advantage. Ang kagandahan kasi pag nag-uptrend na isang stock, we have momentum, right? For example, si PLC. Right here. Um, once na umakit na yan, we have, the f we have momentum as our friend. Kaya mas malaki po ang chances na umakit siya. So basically, what I want you to do is just test buy on the support. If you see a good support right there, you just do test buy. Just in case if ever it fails kasi wala pa siyang momentum at bumagsak siya, like FNI, Right? Kasi wala pa momentum yan. Malaki pa ang chance na bumagsak yan. Uh, if that happens, then... Um, tawag dyan, if that happens, then you can always get out with only little damage. Diba? Mamaya na tayo maglalagay ng malaking pera kung uptrend na. Kasi we have now the advantage of an uptrend, upward momentum. Mas malaki na ang chance na mananalo tayo. Usually, I become aggressive on the first bounce. So, dyan ako maglalagay ng mas maraming pera. Right? So, I... Uh, I hope you can join the seminar. That you will, you will, you will really appreciate the the value of doing test buys, right? So, ayan. Um, but that's the uh just just to answer the question of Jonah. Usually, pag ako personally, mag pag may 100k ako, what I usually do is I test buy at around 40k and then sa susunod na pag uptrend na siya, dadagdag ko pa na yung pera before I go all in. Pag uptrend na. Si PHR meron newly injected 18 point billion, 18 billion so, so valued 9 PHP kaya halos ganoon din si PHA in the future. Totoo yan, right? Um, uh, we're, we're, just to be fair, uh, just to be conservative um, we're, we're looking at 5 pesos kay PHA. So, but it will take time for the stock to move. So, hindi po kaagad didiretso yan sa siyam na piso at 5 pesos. So, uh, wag po tayo magmadali dyan. Alright, let me see if meron pang ano. JC Sibulan, highly recommended po workshop ni Sir Lloyd. Student here last weekend, online seminar. Thank you so much, JC. Guys, 
join the seminar. If you cannot join the web um the February 2, February 8 and 9 po. Uh, February 8 and 9 I have an online seminar. It's Friday, Saturday 8 p.m. Send me a message. Tell you guys you're going to be uh, good trader after that. Basta sundin niyo lang yung system na tinuturo ko. All right, Ambu Box. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, com 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 Par traders, ang lahat ng natutok sa, natutok sa daily grind. Thanks, Sir Lloyd, for sharing your insights. Everyday Circle again. The Oro Seminar naman next time. We'll consider that. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Tama lang ba na nag-sell half ako kay SMC? Thank you. Let's check that out. So, we're done with the discussion. If you have any further questions, sa issue. Uh, as ang Feb 2 sa Cebu, that's in Manila. Right? Feb 2 is in Manila. Um, Giovan. So, sana nung sinulog. Um, Giovan. Sinulog, January 19 yon Nag-seminar tayo dito sa Cebu, sayang. Alright, so SMC, it's good. This is a good decision to sell half. Um, if you watched my Bollinger Band video, diba? um, if the price closes at the outside of the Bollinger Band, that is momentum right there. So my momentum by my momentum. This is, there's still momentum in this and there it is. The signal for the momentum loss is a red candlestick. It closed inside the Bollinger Band. So this is the sell half area. Good job sa mga nag-sell half. Thank you so much at gumagaling na kayo. Right, good job. Right, so um, I'll go now to my recommendations. Um, Bren Bulatao, sir, free yung online seminar mo ng Feb. Pasensya na po. Uh, <laughs> hindi po eh. But yeah, may, I have so many free videos here online. Um, just send me a message if you wanna join that. Orly de Guzman, sir Lloyd, regarding the six, uh, 26 billion, seven, uh, 75 billion shares. Ilan shares ba talaga magiging shares ni SMU Dena, ISMU Dena sa market after takeover? Actually, wala pa. Wala pa yung lalabas na additional shares sa market. Right? So, don't think that's gonna happen. Um, and then, after that, uh, Udena has to comply with the public float. So, pa dapat po marami ang uh, dapat po marami ang shares nila. So, dadamihan ang shares to the public. Udena for sure is gonna make uh, what they call this uh, is gonna make a video about how good their company is before po sila may pa public offer. Arami pong mag invest dyan. Alright, so wag mo muna kayong mag alala about that. Alright, Udena, I'm a businessman. Dennis is a businessman. For sure, he will sell it with icing on top. Right, so he's, he's gonna over, 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 oversell his company. But, and I think he has the right to do that because. Man, Udena is very good. Ang ganda ng, ano, ang ganda ng mga projects nila. He already, he has the respects of SMPH. Diba? Sila SM, um, sila Henry C. Respects him and his business, uh, his his business ideas and how he's, he manages it. So, it's not gonna be a problem. Huwag po kayong mag-aalala kung dadami yung public float na yan. It's gonna be selling like hotcakes, right? So, ngayon, hindi pa. Um, businessmen don't really, are not really that aggressive. So, antay lang muna tayo. Um, pero totoo yan, dadami naman. Sir Lloyd, regarding sa FOO, PHR, 9%, bakit po may price rejection? Uh, may price rejection about se around 7.8. Yan. Yun yung sinasabi ko, it, you don't have to follow the market price when you want to sell it, it sell your stocks, right? So, yun. Um, nasa kanila na yan. Nangyari yan yan kay, kay, S uh, kay FB, di ba? Binenta nila initially at 145. Was that 145 or 140? Correct me if I'm wrong. 140, pero walang gustong bumili, nagma-market rejection, so they had to change the uh, selling price at 85 pesos. So, actually, actually it depends on the it's, it, it depends on the company. Right? So, same with uh, ISM, which same with Udena, they can sell it at a higher price. They are gonna make a video about it. They're, they're gonna be making a good presentation about their projects and then sell it at a high price. Because it's gonna be a very good, uh, very good investment for people. Right? Maayong buntag, Sir Lloyd. Check sa GTCAP. Di, mag, uh, di maganda ang pro projected opening ni IRC. Sir PHA, gap now at 1.09. So, that's very good. Long-term downtrend po, na po ba si Annie, Sir Lloyd? Hindi natin masasabing long-term downtrend si Annie kasi um, maganda naman yung company. So, baka may, um, mag-major pullback lang siya tapos aakit naman kaagad kasi bullish naman ang market. Hey, Sir, good day. See you sa Feb 2 morning session. Pasilip naman po yung URC. Thanks. Marvin Esmero, nag-all-in po ako kay AC9. Six, good, six goodbye po ba? Yes, ang ganda na presyo ni AC. I'm recommending AC for today. Right, so, um, uy, from Palawan si Clive. Good morning, St. John. So, my picks for today, and, then da 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 and post ko lang ulit sa mga, para sa mga bag kakapasok lang. Right, my recommendations for today are here. Um, 
Abner Especio, happy to recommend the Coach Lloyd seminar. Bilis nang balik na investment sa, se- <laughs> sa seminar. You will you will be taught to creating your trading system and need to follow with discipline and well, much less emotion. Thank you so much. Alright guys, join the seminar. Sabi ni Abner, yeah. take, uh, don't take my word for it. Check out the recommendations of my students. Tignan niyo po Financial Freedom 101. It's gonna be a very good investment for you guys. Napakamura lang po ng seminar. I think it's the cheapest out there. Siguro may mura pa but eh, for the value of it, I I strongly say, I can strongly say na this is going to be a very good investment for you. Anyways, number one sa picks ko ngayon, si Tugo. Right, Tugo. Ayan, si Tugo um, has a good support. Bounce at this area, just confirmed this area right here. So, good price action for Tugo. Uh, I don't think it's going to go lower this time with the developments that it has but if ever bumaba man just oh, just have just have your cut loss but Tugo is looking good we have a good bounce for Tugo and si Tugo is good LRW LRW and we have a strong support right here ito mas strong na support 1 2 3 4 four times that support has been hit and is holding that support nag trigger sa Bollinger Band sa taas so that's a good sign so it's already playing on the upside guys LR positionan niyo na ito one of my favorite recommendations for today LRW and LR and same with LR right? nag nagsusuport na siya so check it out right um CEI if ever it fails at least low risk pa naman yun if ever it fails you can always cut your losses if you want to CEI just confirmed the support right here so, dalawang beses na tayo with that confirmation. So, congratulations sa pumasok kay CEI. I recommended this last Friday. Pero overall, maliit pa rin po yung risk niya. So, it's still okay to get in CEI right now. So, CEI po, um, maganda pa rin po pasukin si CEI. Next is SSI. Guys, ang ganda ng evaluate, evaluation ni ano, kay SSI ng Call Financial. And same, it, it goes in line with our valuation. I've been recommending SSI dito pa lang, di ba? Um, dito sa, um, after this, actually, we talked about SSI here. We were able to write that down, um, uptrend. And then we recommended it again here once it was showing us good signals na nagsa-stabilize na siya. Here it is again. It's stabilizing again. So, um, ganda pa rin ang valuation kay SSI. So, I'm still recommending SSI. This is the best opportunity to ride it since maliit pa ang risk ngayon. Next up is DD bounce at MA20, perfect bounce at MA20. Huwag niyo pong sasayangin itong low risk position na ito. Hopefully it goes up. DD has been recovering already. So if ever uh, papasok kay Janus MA20 as your support, just cut loss around negative 3% below that MA20 for DD. Um pwede niyo pong testingin yan. VLL, guys, VLL ren. Um right, um bakit hindi ko to natanggal? Uh I'm changing VLL actually. Uh, I want VLL to do a breakout first. Tanggalin ko si VLL sa list ko ngayon guys. Uh. So I just want VLL to do a breakout first. Right, isa pala yan sa dapat tinanggal ko. So wala pong VLL ngayon. Just wait for it to do a breakout. Or, yeah, mas maganda ang breakout. So just wait for it to do a breakout before you wanna get in VLL. Um, next up is um, Finn. Finma Energy. Ayan. So we have uh, good sustain on the bounce right here sa Finma. The stock is still on an uptrend, very good development, and overall, napakamura pa ni Finma. Now, it has good management, binili siya ni Ayala, so that's gonna be good for Fen. I would say, yes, you can try checking out Finma nito sa MA20. You see MA20 as your support for Fen. Next is Tugs. Right, si Tugs, very good company. Alright, numbers are giving us good number. Uh, the company's been giving us good numbers. Ganda ng mga developments ni Tugs ngayon. Look at that breakout. Very, very beautiful breakout. That's the support after the breakout. So, uh, this is the price that you wanna get into. Right? So, pwede nyo po pasukin ito si Tugs. Napakaliit pa rin ng risk. Very good support right there. Ang ganda ng support. Huwag nyo po sasayangin yung support. You can test buy already. Huwag nyo po lakihan muna ang pera nyo dyan. PNB, right? PNB still is very good, right? We are we are on this uptrend line, so PNB good bounce already. So you can test out the MA twenty for PNB. Um, like breakout na ito eh, di ba? So there's already bullish momentum for this one. So PNB is good. Next up is lastly si AC sa recommendations ko ngayon. Ayala Corporation hindi pa po huli ang lahat. Um, recommended this last week, and we are still at that support area, still very tolerable risk. Right, it's just two percent away, one point ninety six away from support. And overall, that's a good price for Ayala. That's a very solid support in that area. So you can test this out for Ayala. Right? So AC, those are my picks for 
today. Ayan. Um, Sir Lloyd, LR ba may kagnayan si LRW? Yes, meron sila. LR warrant kasi yan si LRW. Sir Lloyd, uh, TKC. Uh, I don't know what TKC means. Pico, sir. Ano po meaning FOO coach? FOO from Lawrence Legad. FOO is um, follow on offering. Right? FOO follows IPO. Diba? For you to be become public, isa sa method is bec- uh, doing IPO, initial public of- offering. So, you offer mo yung stocks mo to the public. That's IPO. Then after that, hindi ka na mag-IPO kasi tapos ka na sa initial public offer. Diba? So, anytime soon, you can always sell more stocks if you want to. And when you sell stocks to the public again, that's already called FOO, the follow-on offering. So, yeah, that's what follow-on offering means for Lawrence. So, Yan. Um, <clears throat> let's go to your requests. Unahin ko po, I know, you, you, um, meron po nagko-comments dito. Sila PHA po uh, from Oscar, Timo, you. Uh, they're doing giving us requests. But unahin po natin yung mga nag-request kanina. It's 909. Um, first is IRC. Right, let's check out IRC. Ayan, si IRC guys. Ayan, may magandang news kay IRC. Kaso nga lang, I don't want you to chase it. I know people are hyping it, but please don't. I want you to become position traders. This is already a missed opportunity. What I teach you is never, ever, ever go after missed opportunities. Let's wait for it to make a bounce anytime soon. Near here, at least may base tayo. Maliit po ang risk natin pag nangyari. Yan. So, IRC, antay lang po tayo ng buy opportunity. Sabi nila, si IRC, mag down daw. Let's check it out. Um, IRC, uh, tingnan natin sa stock. Si IRC, uy, projected opening ni Ayala kaagad is 44.8. So, good job. IRC, yan. Si IRC, projected opening is 2.44. So, so previous is 2.44. So, wala naman. At, uh, still gonna be opening at 2.44. So, Let's see, let's see. But ano, as a position trader, mataas na yun eh. Dapat dun sa baba eh. Right, right now, ito, that sadly, uh, I recommended IRC dito, di ba? We, we talked about the three white soldiers. Naging four white soldiers pa nga, di ba? Then there it is. Right now, it's really hard to chase after these stocks at the top. I will not recommend that anymore. So, ang hirap na pag lumipad. Yun yung problema eh. Baka lumipad na, hindi natin alam kung magpo-pullback. So, dapat dito pa lang sa baba, pinapasok na natin yan. Test buy na, di ba? Para at least kung lumipad man yan, at least nakapasok kayo. Right? So, IRC, I cannot recommend it anymore, sadly, guys. So, maybe today it's gonna move. Maybe it will. Pero ang opportunity natin dyan is momentum trade or you wanna be an investor. Sige, investor entry. If you're an investor, you don't really care about the price. If you know it's gonna go up, in the future, pasukin mo lang yan. If ever it goes down, you just buy more. Yan. Si Picor, guys, pula pa siya ngayon. Eh. So, I'm just waiting for it to uh, to bounce. But, this is already good accumulation. Ang ganda ng volume. The prices is constant right there. So, you can see that people are starting to accumulate. It has consistent volume already. I still recommend Picor, guys, actually. So, may nagtanong kanina kung pwede na ba ibenta na lang si Picor kasi hindi gumagalaw. Guys, don't be impatient. It, it takes time for stock a stock to move. Right? Hindi lang natin alam kung gagalaw yan kaagad. But if ever gumalaw man ito, you're gonna be at a very good position. So, wag nyo po sasayangin yung position nyo dito. Ibibenta nyo lang kasi ihabol nyo sa iba. I don't recommend that. So, Picor, still good. Just waiting for the bounce for, for your, another entry. Right? So, CLC naman. Right, CLC has a good support right here. Yan. So, CLC is good pa rin. Right? I'll still... Uh, let's wait for CLC to make a bounce. If ever, mag-bounce yan, then that will be confirming the support. That will be a good entry point for CLC. Um, Alco. May request kay Alco kanina. Um, taas na ni Alco. Uh, I don't recommend re- taking profits yet. Andito ba naman tayo? Uh, may resistance. Andun pa yung resistance natin. Baka umakit pa eh, right? But if once you see weakness and your risk to reward ratio has been hit, you can always sell half already once you see weakness. So somehow, ang ganda pa rin ng bounce si Alco. So I don't want to recommend selling it yet. CLI naman guys, good MA20 bounce for CLI. So this is very good stabilization for CLI, right? So we have a clear uptrend line for CLI right here. And uptrend pa po yan sa CLI. So this is a good entry point for CLI. Napakaganda po ng company ni CLI. Ang ganda ng mga nakita nila. Right. So, Jerry. Let's go for Jerry. 
There's a question about Jerry. Yun, MA20 bounce. But the problem is we are seeing lower highs kasi kay Jerry. Eh. So, this is hard. I will recommend. This is a flag pattern kasi. Right? So, I will recommend if you want to enter Jerry, best is a breakout because that will be a confirmation of the continuation of the bullish move. Ang hirap nito ngayon. Baka bumagsak pa. We have, the resistance is very near. Not worth your risk actually. So, I will not recommend Jerry as of the moment. BDO, right? BDO, guys. Um, BDO, right? This is the resistance of BDO, right here. This is the major resistance, right here. Yeah. So, I'm gonna be removing Bollinger Bands for now. So, what you're seeing here is a very good cup and handle pattern. All right. So I recommended BDO here at this area because the first entry of cup and handle is this one right here. If it does a breakout, that's the first entry point. Uh, it attempted to do a breakout last Friday, pero hindi nang sustain so bumalik. Next entry point ni Bido. Bido tuloy. Yun yung pangalan ng pusa ako kasi si Bido kasi na rescue ko siya sa BDO so I called, I named her Bido. Which <laughs> si Bido. Ayan, um. Best entry point is a breakout. This is a very beautiful pattern for BDO. Perfect cup and handle, a uh, cup and handle, na pattern. Just wait for it to do a breakout before you wanna get in. Pag nag breakout yan, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay BDO dito at this area. Actually, ako nang kabag average down ako, so I'm I'm already at this area. Congratulations pa rin sa akin. Alright, Sir Green and PIP, please. Alright, tignan natin yung mga But this is for BDO. Alright, just wait for do for wait for breakout before you want to enter BDO. Um. Fundamentals wise kay BDO, kilala nyo man si BDO, wala, tayo, wala kayong dapat ikaw problema kay BDO. Right? So, WPI, Waterfront, Philippines, yan. So, somehow, maybe this is gonna be a support. I want to see a confirmation of a support before I wanna recommend uh, WPI kasi baka downtrend na ito. Reverse, meron tayong reversal signal kasi eh. So, baka downtrend na ito. I don't wanna recommend it yet. It's too aggressive to get in um, WPI. Ito si FNI, maganda. Um, I am... We have an engulfing pattern right here. Diba? Engulfing pattern yan. The best entry point for this stock is here. Right? So, 1.43. If makapasok yung 1.43, that will be very good, very low risk. But the moment um, it will go up and makes a higher low, that will be your entry point. So, I want to wait for it to make a support or a higher low. The higher low will be a good entry point for FNI. So, inintay ko lang po yan. I'll don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you FNI or I'm gonna be recommending FNI once may makita tayong buy signal na talaga kay FNI. PHA, kamusta natin yung opening ni PHA? PHA. Ayan. It's gonna open at 1.06. So, no need to be very aggressive. Nagko-consolidate pa si PHA. So, yun. Um, mahirap na. Ang hirap habulin to Especially if you're an, uh, um, uh, what do you call this, uh, a position trader. We're already out of position on this stock right here. So, out of position na yan. Ang taas na kaya niyan. But, pwede itong umakyat eh. So, kung umakyat man yan, dapat momentum trader kayo. But if you're not a momentum trader anyway, so, wag nyo nang, ano, position trader, kung position trader man kayo, wag nyo pong, wag na kayong kaingitan yan. Wag nyo nang kaingitan yan. Right, so PHA, I don't want to recommend it, especially for position trade. But watch out for it for intraday traders. Baka may may anong yan, may may potential pa na umakyat today. CPG recommended CPG sa MA20 niya. Actually, tagal ko na rin recommend si CPG. Sabi sa inyo guys, pasukin niyo na eh, magbodega kayo niyan eh. Lumilipad na si CPG. Congratulations sa mga nagbodega. Right now, it's out of position. I want to wait for it again at MA20. I did recommend CPG last Friday, di ba? Kasi kakabounce lang, eh, nagtuloy-tuloy. So, let's wait for the next pullback. Antay natin yung pullback ulit ni CPG before we wanna get in. I keep I kept telling you guys this is gonna be the recovery of the century. This is gonna be very huge. Look at that right there. So, CPG is now doing well. Congratulations sa mga pumasok. Hanap kayo ng entry dyan. Pwede nyo pong pasukin yan. Pwede kayo maglagay ng pera dyan. Ganda yan. Overall, it's still very cheap. Uh, CHP, still doing a pullback. I don't wanna recommend CHP yet. Uh, as much as possible, antayin natin sa to sa MA20 niya before we wanna get in. Alright, um, somehow uptrend naman siya because of the cement demand. But the problem ko kay CHP talaga is the, yes, malaki ang cement demand, but 
uh, the competition is there. Remember, si SMPH pa, si SM, gagawa na sarili nilang simento. So, that's gonna be additional. And, you know, alam nyo ang lawak ng network ni SM. So, most probably, the businesses are gonna go for SM kasi mga kumpara nila yun. Eh. So, it's gonna be a very big problem for CHP. That's why I haven't been recommending CHP yet. But for momentum traders, there's momentum in it. Let's antay nyo po pag mag-bounce yan. Pwede nyo itry yan. Um, <laughs> lol si Bido. <laughs> Alright, so, ayan. Um, sino na pa susunod? Si CPG, CHP, FNI, PLC. We talked about that. PHA, PCOR. We talked about that already. Uh, CLC pa. ISM, PHA, SMC. Ayan, si SMC, sell half na. Antayin lang natin. Ito si OR. OR is looking well. Ayan, si OR. Ayan, overall, adyan mo yung uptrend ni OR. Eh. Right, good price action, right there. Ito lang yun, eh, nag-break niya kasi yung MA20. Eh, so, baka mag-sideways. Um, the good thing about this is, it's really hard to tell. The good thing about this is, we have a good support right here. So, baka magtuloy-tuloy rin naman. So, if you wanna get in OR, this is a good entry point. Maliit ang risk. Uh, OR, overall, is a very good company. Ang ganda ng numbers, look at that, 174%. Uh, negative 3 sa second quarter nila. But third quarter plus the development during the third quarter, heads up, hindi po sila, uh, hindi lang po sila into mining na lang ngayon. They're already expanding into energy, um, si OR. Um, <coughs> That's very good for them. That's gonna be a very good development for the company. So, or guys, pwede nyo pong tignan. Nag-niche na sila sa mga probinsya for for kuryente. Right? So, or is good to buy actually. Especially for long term. Isa yan sa mga bagger picks ko na pinapapasok sa inyo. So, habang mura pa, pwede pa yung pasukin. Si PX naman. Um, look at this MA20 doji. I wanna wait for a green one before I wanna recommend it. Uh, somehow, Sobrang lakas na yung galaw niya eh. Alright, so it's wala pong forever na uptrend. So, baka tapos na yung uptrend niya. But if ever you see a green anytime soon, pwede natin test and use MA20 as the support if you wanna test that stock out. I don't wanna I don't wanna go for stocks like these, right? So, um, don't really know bakit umakit si Felix Mining. Eh. But that's the momentum right there. So, too risky for me, right? It's not backed up by fundamentals kasi, so I don't wanna recommend that. FNI and Vulcan, yan, si Vulcan, tingnan natin si Vulcan. Vulcan has been sustaining the support, right? So this is good for Vulcan. We have a descending triangle right here. So hopefully, it becomes a failed descending triangle, right? A uh, failed descending triangle is yung opposite na ascending, and then it becomes a failed descending kasi pag sa taas siya nag-breakout, dyan natin yan pasukin. So, Hopefully, it breaks out, makes an uptrend. So, Vulcan, as of the moment, I don't want you to be aggressive. Right? Wait for it to do a breakout before you want to get into that. Alright, guys. So, may mga request dito. Um, ISM, sir, pull back. Kay, uh, mama, tingnan natin yung opening ng ISM. Right? ISM's opening. Guys, guys, this is 2 Trade Asia's prime, prime platform. Projected price is 5.98. Andyan pa rin ang buying. So, nothing. No problem with ISM. Right? Maraming nagbibenta. Right? So, so far, so good. Um. Yeah, it's still okay. Um, normal movement na para naman pala kay ISM, so not really a problem for ISM. So yon. Um, green and PI people, please tignan natin sa green. It's nine twenty one, so bilis lang natin to nine. Kung lang yun na sa babak guys sa para hindi ko na kasi alam sa ako ng stop pa. Eh. Right, so green, we are at resistance levels. I don't want to recommend that anymore. CPIP po, CPIP, kamustahin natin. Nasa baba pa rin si PIP naglalaro. So, um, somehow, PIP is already showing us good volume. So, this is still good accumulation of people. So, I think this support is gonna gonna hold. So, buy as long as that support holds for PIP. Si, ano naman, MHC, uh, Val, uh, ISM. Si ISM is uh, bias loss list support holds. We have a good support for ISM around this area. So, bias loss list support holds for ISM. Right? That's the support area dyan sa nagbabounce the past few days. So, you can see that people are still buying. Nagre-reject pa rin ang mga presyo na low ni ISM. So, the demand is still there. Right? So, um, ABBA, Right, ABBA, at yung sinasabi ko, nag-break na siya sa MA20, so I don't want to recommend this anymore. Um, 
Aba, mataas, masyado mataas na po yan. Eh. Ang inihintay na lang ng mga tao dyan actually kay Aba is the dividends. Eh. So, we're not even sure if magbibigay sila ng, uh, uh, ng dividends. So, I don't want to recommend Aba anymore. EW, may request dito ng EW from Dr. Raude. Draude, right? um, EW, we have a flag pattern. So, wait na lang tayo ng breakout for EW before you want to get into that um, company. Right? So, dapat dito tayo pumasok eh, diba? I recommended it here. Kaso nga lang, hirap na ngayon. It's hard to tell right now. Um, somehow, there's good volume naman. So, wait for a breakout na lang for, for you. Uh, for EW. Um, ECP, sir, salamat. Si ECP, nag-reject yung high niya. So, high risk masyado si ECP for now. Right? Here's the support. At yung support dapat na pinapasukan niya. Medyo mataas na si ECP. The one I recommend it now. Holsim, may magandang news kay Holsim about the cement. Right? So, but, yun, um, we're seeing lower highs pa kasi. Um, Wait for Holsim, right? Antay lang natin ito na mag-lower ang risk before we wanna get in. RWM, medyo mataas na si RWM. Right, so 5.81, mataas na masyado si RWM. Nag-all-time high yan. So, stay away for now. Wait for it to do a retracement. Look at that. When it near, we came near MA20. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo lagi, right? After Bollinger Band triggers, Bollinger Band triggers, saan nyo po papasok yan? MA20, MA20. Ganun lang, di ba? So, here's the Bollinger Band triggers. MA20 siya nagbabounce. Um, this is the reason why I want you to uh, study MA20. I have a video about MA20, right? Um, green PIP, lol, CBDO, <laughs> right? So, um, pizza, sir, MHC, ATN, please. Si ATN, uh, unahan natin si ATN. ATN is good, right? It's bouncing at MA20. Kasan lang ma maraming nagtatakutan about doon sa SM daw na finding. So, let's see. Um, green, uh, red pa naman siya. Let's see what happens today. Pumula siya, so don't buy it yet. For ATN. MHC, may tanong about MHC. Uh, good volume on this doji right here. So, I guess this is a good support for MHC. If you want to get in MHC, get in in this support as much as you can. You can test that out. Overall, maganda naman si MHC. MRC rin. Si MRC, um, this, ito yung concern ko. It clipped the lower Bollinger Band. We are on a downtrend. So, baka bumaba pe, Right? So, don't want to recommend MRC yet. Very, very tricky yung position niya. Um, Orlino Ang Suanko Ang Suanko Guys, join the seminar ni Lloyd He will teach you good system System will be set you to the right discipline and tactical to trade Thank you so much, uh, Orlino Nga pala guys, yes It's already 9.25 Pasensya na if hindi ko masasagot lahat I want you guys to join our Discord group This is the Discord group right here Right, so this is our dis this is the Discord group. If ever I'm trading for the day, you guys can always ask me questions. Not just me, and dami pong magaling na traders dito, dito sa Traders Lounge or the Investors Lounge. Charting discussions, if you want to, or request for charts, marami pong sumasagot dyan. Natutulungan po kayo. Download Discord and then go to the video description. Right, may Discord group dyan na link. That's the invitation. Papasak po kayo dito automatically. Right, so this is gonna be a good community for you guys. Ang laking tulong niyan sa chat room. At least meron kayong mapagtanungan whenever you need que to ask questions. Join the chat room. Um, February 2, last one seat. <laughs> and, and I don't know if why I'm still advertising it, but yeah. Um, last one seat, February 8 and 9 po. I have an online seminar. Send me a message so I can send you the details. Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Qatar. I'll be asking for your support po. And um, February 15, 16, and 22. Send me a message so that I can give you the registration details. I'll see you there. As always, it's a Monday. It's look, market is looking good. Um, so if ever meron kayo mga positions na nakikita na nasa baba pa, it's a bullish market. So it's time to be aggressive. You can enter those supports if you want to. As always, let's get rich together. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh.